previously on Macro Monday. Oh, he's going nuts inside there, he is. Back on, there you go. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, no, I'm off the stick. Just. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, he moved. You son of a bitch. Man, he's fast. You know, little shit, I come in. No, you don't. If he does come back in, I'm going to stamp on him and create a Jackson Pollock macro shot. So in this episode, I'm going to photograph my new prey mantis. This is a budwing mantis. I also have some lavender that I've got from the garden. Well, yeah, you're thinking, hey, Stu, that's cheating. It's a pet prey mantis. You already know how to photograph them. However, it's offset because not only have I got to set the scene up, I've got to set the camera up. I have to unbox the new flash as well. Welcome to Macro Monday. This episode of Macro Monday is sponsored by Per Gear, your number one source for photo and filmmaking gear. Check them out in the link in the description or go to pergear.com. So in this episode, it's going to be a little bit challenging, although we are photographing a pet praying mantis. I already have the lavender. I, I know what I want in the image in my head. I have to contend with having to unbox the new Godox MF12 twin macro flash and the trigger for that flash. So, um, yeah, we're not going to be reading instructions, so hopefully this is going to go well. So the rules of Macro on Monday are very simple. I have 10 minutes to set up my camera, set up the scene, and get a social media worthy shot of that said subject. This one is going to be interesting because not only have we got to do all that, we also have to unbox it and figure out how to use it. So let's put 10 minutes on the clock and let's get started. So the first thing we want to do, obviously, I know... I'm going to be binning this twin macro flash. So I'm going to get rid of that. We have our MP 65 millimeter lens. And in this video, I'm going to be stepping back. So I'm going to want to dump that as well. Just get rid of that. Grab my lower 100 millimeter lens. Pop that on there. And then I'll put that lens cap on there, but not bother with the other lens cap because we're against the clock. So we'll just throw that all over there. Right. So. First thing I'm going to do, let's take a look at our settings. So I'm going to 1 200th a second, ISO 100, and let's go with, let's bump it up a little bit. Let's go with F10 on the F stop. Now put that to one side because what I want to do is set up the scene first. So if we go over and check out our complementary colors, we're going to go to the Adobe website for this, and we're going to look at split complementary colors. Now we know the color of our lavender is kind of a purple color. We're going to go to split complementary, place that on the purple, and what we get is a yellow brown and a dark green or a light green. So that plays in very well to our scene because our new Prime Mantis is a light brown colour. So all we've got to do is find a green background card. That will do the job. And I'll quickly get this set up. Okay, let's get the lavender out. And I want the lavender to be coming straight up. So it's vertical, like that. We'll then place our background card into another tripod. And there's a video on my channel on how to make these tripods if you are interested. And there we go. Let's get rid of the praying mantis for a second because we want to set that up just there. Okay. And again, I'm just going to eyeball it. And I want the background far enough away that it blurs, but not too far away that there's edges. So let's get this lot on box first. So first of all, I'm going to start with the trigger. Don't need those instructions. Uh, we need batteries. Where's my trim up broke flash? And there. Now I do know the batteries on this Godox flash are built in, so we're not going to need the batteries for that. Let's that on there. Let's get this bad boy quickly unboxed. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Ooh, that's nice. 
nice case. I wonder if that's going to fit in my bag. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. Uh, I don't even know what I need out of here. So how do these attach to that? I don't know. If I just click them, no idea how they attach. Okay, that's not okay. Yeah. These are all the adapters that you get. You get a ton of these with every single flash you buy. I have them coming out my e-rolls. So look what uh, what we're we looking at. 67 millimeter. I should know that really. It's my favourite lens. 67. Okay, let's get rid of those. Feet, charging cables, instruction manual. Don't need any of that. What's this in here? Come on. Here we go. Uh, gels. Oh, we got gels. Grab them to one size. Five minutes remaining. And I haven't even figured out how to get these things onto the actual bracket yet. Um, okay. How do they fit on? Ah, oh, they just clip on. Nice. Makes things a little bit easier. Let's get that on there. Because. Ah, oh, come on. I can't get it clipped on. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, I'll get it. Ah, there's a little clip on place just there for it. Right, gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. gotcha. Okay, lost. I'm going to take off the front element altogether because I do not want this getting stuck to the UV glass filter. Yeah, so I don't want that getting stuck to the, uh, the glass that uh, Laura put on the front of their bloody lenses. Come on. How are you going on there? Loose, is it? Where's that loose for? Oh, that don't fit on very well onto the uh, the front of my Laura at all. But we have it on. Let's turn it on. Uh, where's the on button? Right oh, there. On. Okay, right, so I'm set to TTL, flashes are set to TTL. I'm using TTL because it's going to save a lot of time. Uh, that's not working. Okay, so let's have a look at the settings quickly. Okay, my channels are not synced up. Unfortunately, I don't know how to change the channel on the uh, the trigger, so I'm going to change the channel on the flashes to match what the trigger is. That'd be the easiest thing to do, I think. We're going to go to channel one. Okay, let's try that now. Yeah, we are working. Let's take a test shot of the scene. Okay. That's looking okay. Let's get the praying mantis out. One minute. Ooh, we've got one minute. Come on, dude. Let's get you out. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, there you go, 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 go. Get on there. Oh, he's gone around the back of the plant. I know what I got in my head, uh, the image I want. It's all down to whether this Prey Mantis is going to play ball or not. 20 seconds. Come on, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. 10 seconds. Focus, focus, focus. Come on. Damn it. Just missed out. Did we miss it by one second? Yeah. One second missed. So there we go. That's the Budring Mantis. Just missed out on the timer, but unboxing a new flash and trigger was probably a touch too much for this episode. Let's check out the scoreboard. It is now 3-2 to me. 
I'm just in front, but nature is catching up. But that's it for now. My name is Stuart Wood, and I will see you on the next episode of Macro Monday. On the next episode of Macro Monday. What I will use, however, is my platter bowl. Now you've got a choice in getting close or get wide. You can see there I'm overpowering the video light now because it's quite, quite dark. Some dramatic lighting from the side maybe. I know what I want now, in my head. I know exactly what I want. I've just got to get it. Oh no, my like a torch just gone flat. So I have my Prime Mantis. I have my lavender and I have the new flash. Let's put 10 minutes on the clock. No, don't do that. <laughs> I forgot about the rules. <clears throat> now for anyone who's watching this and wanting to see more information on the flash, watch the video up here. Yeah, it's going to that side, isn't it? Why is your eyes getting the eye when you start? So in this episode, I'm going to photograph my new prey mantis. This is a budwing mantis. I also have some lavender that I've got from the garden. Not necessarily my garden, but from a garden.